Hello, Tokyo. Hello. Oh my god, welcome back to Chaos Child! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, 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 oh my god! Oh my god, you're running a saw! Oh, Sarah can And it's called Sarah Chapter! Look at the look at the news art! Oh my god, she's slowly regaining her memories and Finding, I'm trying to find Chaku and everything and oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! And also everyone's zombies for some reason. I don't know how that works when we didn't see them like that and I don't know if Serica did either. Oh my god. And the Chaos Child Syndrome made everybody zombies. Oh my god. How are they gonna stop this? Oh god, will they be able to defeat Wacky? Find out today and next time because this is the penultimate stream, apparently. Oh boy. <laughs> it's the true ending. It's called Zerika Chapter. Woo! Hello, Twerk. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god. I just can't believe it's Zerika POV. Hello, Bleed. Welcome to the stream. I'm pretty sure I heard all the managers and doctors involved were arrested, and any ties with the cult were severed. Nowadays, it's supposedly been repurposed into a completely different hospital, but still. Hey, <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. Just go. I speak loudly to cheer myself up, and head inside. <laughs> Most of the hospital must be closed for the weekend, as the lobby is nearly empty. But visiting hours haven't ended yet, so no one stops me as I walk through the halls. Come to think of it, the paper she gave me only has a name, so I don't know if the name belongs to a doctor, a patient, or maybe even a nurse. Ano, <laughs> uh, Excuse me? I speak to a nurse at the nurse's station. Hi, how did you Yes, what can I do for you? Yes, what can I do for you? Does this person work here? Hello, Light Arimura. Welcome to the stream. I show her the, I show her the name on the piece of paper. The nurse nods. It's a uh, I'm sorry, uh... Ah, Onoe to imasu. Oh, uh, my name is Onoe. Kunosato-san no shiriai desu ka? Oh, oh, she's trying to find Mio. That's, oh boy. I wonder how she's gonna treat her. Oh, the game seems loud? Okay, let me, uh, okay, thank you. Thank you for telling me. I'll turn it a bit down. Hello, Exec, welcome to the stream. Are you a friend of Kanasato Sons? Oh god, there's no way. She died though, Bleed. I'm pretty sure. I was thinking that something similar there. <laughs> uh, uh, is, is that better? I think I think it should be uh I think uh, this is uh I don't know how it got that way, but uh is, is this good? Uh, well, how uh, oh, I knew, uh, but Musi-san, tell her the Musi-san sent me, and she'll understand. The nurse nods again, then reaches for the phone on the desk. She speaks on the phone with someone for a moment. お待たせしました。お会いになるそうです。誤解の精神科へどうぞ。there is no BGM bleed, so don't worry. I apologize for the wait. She said she'll see you. Go to the psychiatric ward on the fifth floor. Fifth floor again. The psychiatric ward? 
通には入れないので注意してくださいねエレベーターを降りるとすぐに扉があります脇のインターホンを押してください担当看護師がご案内します Yes, it's normally off limits, so be aware of that. You'll see a door once you're out of the elevator. Press the intercom button on the side, and the nurse there will show you in. Hurry? Thank you. I head for the elevator just like the nurse told me to. Ah, just. Oh, excuse me. Hi? Yeah? The nurse glances around to see if anyone's listening, then leans towards me. She whispers in a volume that doesn't really fit what you normally see from a nurse. <laughs> Is this your first time meeting Kunosato san? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Be careful. She can be a little difficult. I narrow my eyes a little. For some reason, the nurse wishes me good luck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. A bit of levity in this. Oh my god, I can't wait to see if Sarah regains her abilities. Head up to the fifth floor and press the button to call the nurse. Who then lets me into the psychiatric ward? It's dark! After that, I'm told to go to the first door down the hall. Is volume good now? Or, or is it still all grogged up? Wait, am I going to a hospital room? I thought this woman was working for the hospital, but maybe. <laughs> Maybe she's actually a patient? There's a plate for the patient's name in front of the room. But it doesn't say Kunosato or it's completely blank. Oh. Hmm. A little scared, I knock on the door. I did it. It's open. A stern voice answers. I feel like I know that voice. <laughs> what are you doing? If you're gonna come inside, then come inside! Uh, <laughs> uh, right! Excuse me! I remember what the nurse told me not long ago. She really does seem difficult. Or rather, kind of scary. I fidget a little as I open the door. Oh. Huh? The reason why I thought I'd heard that voice before is because I've actually met her several times. Oh, hello, Baka. Welcome to the stream. Well, thank you for stopping in. She sometimes came to visit with me with Mimosi-san when I was in the hospital after my accident. I didn't ask for her name at the time. I guess it's Kunisato-san, then. <sighs> Kunisato-san is sitting with her laptop, typing at an incredible speed. I don't hear any BGM bleed. I'm pretty sure there isn't any. She's not even looking at me. I didn't, I didn't fiddle with any settings inside the game. So, yeah, I did not change a single thing, so. Why did you come here? Hi? I'm sorry? You were told not to come to Shibuya. Uh, technically, uh, this isn't Shibuya. It's Yoyogi. Nara. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you know I was here? You went to Mimose-san's place and found out from her, right? Uh, uh, you got me there! She 
figured me out. Momose san no Frigia was Shibuya da. To you kotoa. Yapari o my was Shibuya nita. Momose san's company is located in Shibuya, which means you went there despite your directions. I kill she is charged. Hora me. What does she want? Listen up. I'm not a big fan of idiots who can't listen to warnings. Remember that. <laughs> now I know exactly why the nurse wished me good luck. I speak loudly to try and overtake the sound of fingers hitting keys. Deliberately hitting the key's heart to drown me out. Well, I'm not giving up. Here! Since she's refusing to look away from the screen, I put the photograph I brought right in front of her face. Uh. You've put this in the newspaper club room in Hekio Academy. If you know something about it, please tell me! You went there. It's only after she looks t turns to look at me that I realize what she's wearing underneath her white lab coat. A Hekio Academy uniform. The same one that's in the picture. Oi. Hey. <gasps> Don't kill me! Kunasata-san suddenly stands up and gets so close to my face that we almost touch. You're not do you know what that place is? What did you see? What did you do? I uh, didn't do anything! I quickly step away from her. She's scary. I can almost hear the sound of my own heart racing. Uh, are you also a student? I mean a patient there? Nani? What? Oh god! <laughs> Serika continues to own Mio even though she doesn't even fucking realize she's doing it. <laughs> because uh, you're wearing that I say as I point at her uniform <laughs> <sighs> Hello Arno, welcome to the stream Well thank you so much Arno Oh that means so much Thank you Please <laughs> Tell me, did I uh, go there before? <sighs> Tell me anything you know, no matter how small. Anything that could give me a clue to my memories. I want to know no matter what! <laughs> oh boy. Kunasata san just continues staring at me, looking very annoyed. 
It's almost like she's trying to feel out what's inside my heart. <sighs> what did Momose-san say to you? I'm sure you asked her the same question. What did she say to you? That she couldn't tell me anything herself. And, uh, she also said... That she probably couldn't even tell me she couldn't tell me anything. <laughs> I see. Oh, that's just like her, that sly old bat. Ah. Uh, yeah, you said it, not me! I find myself agreeing. Sly, that's the perfect word for her. You really want to know, huh? I mean this literally, you cannot handle the truth. They want her! About your past. Hi. Yeah. I I nod with determination, and in response, Kamisata-san shrugs a little. Just so we're clear, I don't know anything about you. Oh, she's keeping the cover story. The first day I met you was the day you came to the hospital. Everything before that I heard from Momose-san. Hi. Got it. I don't know anything about that photograph either. Or why you're wearing that uniform. Hello, Liz. Welcome to the stream. But you're a patient there too. All right. I look again at the uniform she's wearing. It's definitely the same one that I was wearing in that picture. No. Patients at that facility are required to wear these uniforms. If I want to move around without arousing suspicion among the patients, I need this. So that's why she has it. I always wondered why she has it. In that case, what are you then? I'm a scientist. I study the Chaos Child Syndrome. A scientist? Ah. Yep. She then taps the laptop m monitor with her fingers. It's filled with rows of tiny numbers and several images of what look like human brains. あの、もしかして私も did I maybe have some special reason for being there like you did? If I'm wearing that uniform in the photo. Yeah. Scunactamo. 
私のような研究者だったとは思えん。No. If nothing else, I don't remember seeing you there. And I can't imagine what the special reason would be. You don't seem like a, to be a scientist like I am. Hello, March. Welcome to the stream. All right. <sighs> Her answer doesn't satisfy me. The guard him had acted like he knew who I was. And the woman in the picture seemed to be acting like we were friends. This person is a patient, aren't they? I pointed the photo. Tell me about her! If you're doing research on them, you should know her, right? I can't just share a patient's private information with outsiders, you know. I might not be an outsider, though. You. Why do you want answers so badly? So I mean, isn't it obvious? Who wouldn't want to know more about their past? And besides, I I think I heard lots of different voices in front of the room where I found this photo. I don't know how to describe it, but it all felt so familiar. If one of the voices I heard belonged to her, then she must have been a dear friend of mine. Is it so wrong to want to remember a dear old friend? <laughs> oh, God. How do I explain this? She's glaring at me with a really scary look on her face. Did I go a little too far? Well, I can't help it. I really mean what I said. <laughs> You're a real pain in the ass. I can see why Mimose san palmed you off on me. She stands up and starts to leave the room. Starts to leave the room, as if she's finished talking. Wait! I quickly try to stop her. We're not done. Are you going to summon? Wait here for a little bit. I'll find out if it's okay to tell you. Huh? Don't touch my computer. Huh. I start thinking to myself self as I'm left alone in the room. Maybe she actually does have friends. <laughs> She keeps me waiting for about an hour. Just when I start to think that she's making me wait on purpose, she comes back into the room. She then tells me to follow her and to promise that I won't tell anyone what I'm about to see. Jizen ni. 
壁法に忍び込んだという事実は聞いたな勝手にそんなことをされるくらいならちゃんと教えておこうと言っていたよ He Oh she's probably talking about、uh, the detective Good old Shinju The fact that you already snuck into Hekiho worked in your favor He said that if you're gonna be doing stuff like that on your own it's better to just tell you 研究の責任者の方ですか The person responsible for the research said that? まあ、責任者には違いないかな。Well, he's certainly responsible for a lot of things. Kunasata san goes deeper into the building, then suddenly stops. ここ This is the place. She turns around to face me as she puts her hand on the door. Ah, Mate. Hide my Niaksokoshiro. Kogai Muyo a Mochirondaga. Wait. I want you to promise me something before you go inside. Obviously, you can't tell anyone what, you're, what you'll see in here. Hi. Right. Kononaka no Renchu omitted not to Kushtara. Oh, God. Shibuya Niwa Chikazukuna. But also, once you see the people inside and you accept things as they are, promise that this time you'll stay away from Shibuya for good. Ooh. Uh? Huh? That's the condition for telling you what you want to know, Orpheus. Wait a minute! You'll understand when you see them. Kunasata san opens the door without waiting for my response. Oh my god! So the main characters are all here? What the hell? There's Hinai, Kazuki. Oh my god. Wait. Is that. Where's Taku? Is Taku over there? Oh god. Where's Senri? Oh, is that Senri? That might be Senri. I do. Oh no, that's No No. Oh, so that must be, uh. Oh, oh, so that's probably Uki. Okay, I see. What I see inside the hospital room leaves me speechless. So, yeah, she absolutely won't let him see Taku, I'm assuming. Only the dim light from the fluorescent lamps above illuminates the room. I can smell the peculiar scent of disinfectant. Oh god, what happened to all of them? Why are they all like this? Weren't they gonna, like, at the end of the common route, like, go to another town? Oh god. There are four beds, each with a patient in them. And all of them are old women. Their bodies are hooked up to machines like the one you see on TV shows. They keep going beep, beep, and sync with the rhythm of their hearts. This way. Oh. <gasps> And Asata san calls to me from next to the bed furthest in the back. She's gonna show her no no, Senri. <laughs> I come up to her and suddenly I gasp. The girl who's sleeping right there is her. The one who I was smiling with in the photograph. Kurusu no no, Juhasai. Kaos Chairo da Shoko Gun Kanja. Okay, I'm just saying why she's in a coma, but why are the other ones in a coma? Caruso Nono, age 18. A chaos child syndrome patient. She's been in a coma for three months. This has got to all be leading up to her breaking Taku out of the hospital. 
right? She's my age, but she's been in a coma for three months. Oh God. But what happened to the others? Unlike the other three, she had a terrible laceration on her abdomen when she was brought here. <laughs> she was hurt? Yeah, she was in critical condition for a while, but we managed to save her. For some reason, Kunasada-san frowns as she looks at me. But what happened to them? Anyway, now you understand, right? You won't be able to learn anything from her while she's in this state, let alone what her, what her relationship with, to you was. She points to the woman on the bed as if to say, Satisfied. This coma. Was it caused by the syndrome? So that. Really? Then why are the others okay in the school? That's right. And the others? I look at the other beds. Yeah, that's Uki. Yeah. Each of them was the name written above their pillow. Arimura Hinai, Kazuki Hana, and Yamazoe Uki. Yeah, was all she said when I looked at them. There, can you get better, right? I don't know. The girl on the bed, Karusu-san. Is as still as a doll. Without the sound of the heart monitor, I doubt I would know that she's still alive. It really does feel like I know her. Maybe. What was her relationship like before the accident? Oh boy. That's a, that's a doozy of a question. Were we friends at Hekio Academy? Uh, kinda? <laughs> Why am I? Feels like I'm almost remembering something important here, but it escapes me yet again. Ruzu no no, Kaski Hana, Arimura Hina, Hayamazo Uki. Wait, where's where's Yuto? Oh, that that's where Yuto is not a giggle maniac. They're all names I'm supposed to be hearing for the first time. But it doesn't feel that way. It's so frustrating not being able to remember. It's been a coma for three months. That means it started around the same time as the Restoration Festival, right? I was told that's the same time I lost my memories. Could that really be just a coincidence? Oh, why did they all end up in comas? That's private medical information. Why do you want to know? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, imagine Nono wakes up and the first thing she sees is Sarah. Oh god. Oh god! That, that, wow. <laughs> Maybe I can do something to help. You want to ask her about my past directly? This isn't an Ill illness that an amateur like you can treat. 
Well, maybe she regains her powers. You don't know that! But no matter how much I argue back, Kanasato-san refuses to listen to me. She just keeps insisting that I leave and never go back to Shibuya. You don't have to say that out loud, Serika. God damn it. Fine. And I'll just go back to Hakio tomorrow. Nani? Excuse me? God damn it, Serika. You don't have to say that out loud unless you have a game plan here. Kanasada-san raises her eyebrows at my words. If I can't talk to Kurusu-san, my only lead left is Hekio Academy. The guard there acted like he knew me! Like hell you will. Kunasato-san angrily gets close to me and I step back. Just try it. I'll have Mimose cut off your living expenses. <laughs> no, I'm not giving up! Uh, I'll just get a part-time job! It'll be fine! I'm 18! Oh. Uh, you've got guts. But in this country, it's hard to get a real job without a guardian. And your guardian is also Momose-san. <laughs> Fuck! You got me there! Again! <laughs> she won't let me let me get a job, then I can't survive. That's awful! Why are you so Oh, typo. Just listen to the warning you were given. At least give me an actual reason! <sighs> yeah, fuckleberries. Why does she want to keep it a secret so badly? I don't think that I'm asking for something irrational. It's got nothing to do with your memories. Hakio Academy is in a delicate position right now. Kunasato-san runs an aggravated hand through her hair and shows me what's on the laptop she has. The screen shows a picture of a man. Huh? Is it Taku? Oh, it's fuck high. Oh god, it's it's wacky. Wacky wacky. Oh fucking hell. I've seen him before too. But where I've seen him, I don't remember. The patients believed he was just a normal teacher, but the truth was different. Yeah, that's, no, that's not all he is. <laughs> he was one of the people in charge of the facility and a scientist researching Chaos Child Syndrome. And also my mortal enemy, though I don't think I'll ever realize that. Oh, 
患者の情報の流出ということになる。Oh, shit. 大変な事態になる。学園は大騒ぎになった。Oh, shit. He's on the run. What is he planning to do with that? Oh, shit. Oh, I was not. Wow. That's interesting. Immediately after the festival, he took all the data we had on the syndrome and vanished. Theft of patient information is a serious problem. The whole school was in an uproar. But he was particularly nasty. He used his position as an administrator to make the school his own private property. I can't tell you the details, but because of him, Hekio Academy is in a highly volatile state right now. That's why I'm telling you to stay away from it no matter what. Hey! Are you listening to me? Huh? Oh, hi. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I can't take my eyes off the man in the picture. What is this? I know him from somewhere. That's right, she was like literally the only person who knew who he really was in the main story. Oh, God. She actually fucking threatened him. Like, she was the reason Taku was safe at the school. Because, oh, my God. She cut a deal with him. Oh, fuck. Time for payback. <sighs> my eyes meet with Kunisato, so I'm just the scene flashes through my mind. Her look of annoyance is gone, and now she looks dead serious. Oh, is she gonna know? Is she gonna tell her? Do you remember this man? Huh? Do you remember where you saw him? I tried to remember the image I just saw. I think I think I think I was remembering from the uh, Kazuki route or something. It was probably... <laughs> well... I can't say for sure, but I think I might. But even if I do, why would I know that place? As I wonder that, I suddenly hear Kunasato-san whisper something. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it was imperfect. She remembers the location of the device. Was the memory alteration imperfect? Huh? What did she say? Yeah. Wow, she has she is taking huge risks. Saying that out loud right in front of her, even if it is under her breath. My god. <laughs> no, that's nothing you need to worry about. Just tell me what you saw him. This is very important. Uh, 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 sure, okay. Hell yeah, Serika. In exchange, I have a request. And so I tell her the idea I just came up with. After I leave the patient room where the four, gir four girls are sleeping, I'm taken even deeper into the hospital. We need to wait for a while as Kunasada-san need to get permission from above and negotiate. Is she gonna see Taku? Oh shit. I ended up waiting for several more hours. It's probably night outside by now. Further into the hospital I go, the colder the air becomes. 
feels like something terrifying is waiting for me. Uh, Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Not fulfilling my end of the bargain regarding the condition. There's another patient you need to meet. Uh -huh. Huh? Is, is what I said that difficult to do? Hello, Mr. Cool. Welcome to the stream. I didn't think it was. Shinjo-san. Shinjo-san. Hmm? Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> He's still scared of her. Understandably so. Gunasato-san takes me down the hallway to an area marked staff only no entry. A man in a suit turns out to be waiting for us there. His eyes go wide with surprise when he sees me. What are you thinking? You can't do this! I'll explain inside. Kunasato-san says as she brushes past him. Onoe? Onoe? Yeah? This is Detective Shinjo from the Shibuya Police. He's helping with our research into the Chaos Child Syndrome. A detective helping to study a disease. Is this kind of thing common? I bow my head still confused. Shinjo san. Shinjo-san? How long until the guard changes shifts? You have some time, but he's gonna be mad. I'm sure. Anyway, just come with us. This is import important for you to hear, too. And Asato san goes further down the hallway. I follow. It feels like something scary is getting closer. Who exactly is it in the room? You'll know when you go inside. You at least watch the news, right? News? The news? Is this person someone famous? Uh, kinda. Ah, Kunosato san kara mo chui sarete ruto omou ga, kore kara saki no koto wa zettai ni himitsu ni shite yeah, uh, I'm sure Gunasad is on tilt to this, but you need to keep everything you're about to see and hear an absolute secret. I'm referring to the man you're about to meet, but you also can't tell anyone that you met him, or even that this place exists. Got it? Yes, sir. What kind of fam famous person could he be here if they need all this secrecy? The two of them stop in front of a certain door. There's a no visitor sign on the door, and the small window is barred. Only a faint light is coming from inside. The detective then takes out something. It's a key. The door must be locked from the outside. <sighs> Tension is clearly building between the two of them. It even starts to make me feel nervous, too. Onoe. 
On her way. Exactly how much do you know about the return of the new generation madness? The return of the new generation madness? I know about what you'd expect. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Oh. Back when I borrowed Aika's phone to look up Chaos Child Syndrome, I saw his name a few times on news sites and blogs. At first, I wondered why he was showing up in my search results. But when I read them, I found out it was because he had Chaos Child Syndrome, too. By the time Ayaka and Aoi told me not to look, it was too late. I had already seen photos of the crime scenes. They were awful. Oh, no. Just remembering them makes me feel nothing but sheer anger and hatred toward him. I can't believe someone only a year older than me could do something like that. Maybe he just wanted attention. Maybe that's why he did something so cruel. Uh, and they even said one of the victims was his own little sister. I still can't believe that. Do you know what happened to Miyashiro after the incidents concluded? Huh? So, so. I don't know. But he was arrested, right? So, isn't he going to be put on trial or something? For some reason, Kunazata-san glances at the door. So does Shinjo-san. Suddenly I feel a chill, almost like cold ice, is being pressed against the back of my neck. No way, it can't be! Is he the one that's inside the room? Oh god. Oh shit! No one has ever recovered from Chaos Child Syndrome. At least as far as the public knows. Really? Oh my god! <laughs> Miyashiro suffered from Chaos Child Syndrome when he committed the murders. But after he was arrested, we learned that he was recovering. Holy shit! I wonder why that is. Oh my god. As of now, he's currently the only person to recover from the disease. Okay, so he's back to normal. Though so he's been given special permission to be quarantined here to help us find a cure. Obviously. Again, these random ass unvoiced lines, I still don't get it. Like, 1% of lines just are unvoiced randomly. 
Obviously, the public doesn't know anything about this. Kunasato-san added. <sighs> Despite how cold it is in here, I start to sweat. The killer himself is working with Kunasato-san. And the police are in on it, too. Oh, God! No. Why do I have to eat something like that? No way. Just the thought terrifies me. I don't want to meet him. Of course I don't want to. No! Oh, God. Who knows what he'll do to me? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry. He won't do anything to you. I'm sure of it. Kunasato-san doesn't listen to a word I say. Shinjo-san then uses the key and the door slowly opens. Toku! <laughs> I instantly notice him in this dark room. He is sitting on the bed, looking right at me. He isn't tied up or anything, not even handcuffed. I take a small step back. <sniffs> he is very thin, wasting away like a dead tree branch. Or just recovering from being, like, all dehydrated and zombified. hard to believe that someone like this was able to commit those horrible murders. Did he only just recover from Chaos Child Syndrome? His face doesn't look like an 18-year-old boy's, but his bony limbs and necks look like they belong to an old man. His face does look like an 18-year-old boy, sorry. So this is Miyashiro Takuru? The real killer behind the return of the new generation madness. Shinjo san, Kunosato san, Yakusoku ga chiga. Shinjo san, Kunosato san, this wasn't the deal. I find myself hiding behind Kunosato san's back while he speaks. The kind of killer who could do something like that is to be a very scary man. My hands start shaking as I hold on to Kunasato-san's white lab coat. What do you think you're doing? Bringing someone who has nothing to do with this here. I can tell from his voice that he's angry. I shrink back to try and hide from him. Situation's changed. This is Onoe Serica. She knows about Hakio Academy. She also says that she remembers being alone with Wakabi in a certain place. Huh? 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 Both Miyashiro and Shinjo san gasped in surprise. Hello, Ken! Welcome to the stream! He then stands up from the bed and walks over to me. Oh! Yeah, his, I, I really do like that his sprite is slightly different. Hello, Cerulean! Welcome to the stream! I get scared and cling on to Kunasato son even tighter. Sono... Masaka... No. That can't be. Sono Masaka da yo. Kono byoin no chika kara. Doko kae kiesatta shisetsu no koto daro. 
It's true. It was probably in the facility that disappeared from the basement of this building. And the thing that Shinjo-san can't find no matter how hard he looks is probably there too. そのどこだ。君はどこでそれを I almost answer him, but barely managed to stop myself in time. I can hear Kunasata-san groan. That was close. I can't tell them just yet. Onoe-san! Onoe-san? Oh, no, that's Shinjo. Onoe-san! She wants to make a trade. Nani? What? What do you mean? Where's the She said she'll tell us where the facility is, but in exchange, she wants to help us find the cause of Chaos Child Syndrome. What is the cause? Miyashiro starts looking at me with narrowed eyes again. Onoe-san, dake? Onoe-san, was it? Can I ask you something? <laughs> How must Taku be feeling right now? I'm obviously still scared as he looks at me. But I woke up my courage and look back at the killer. What? Why do you want to get involved in this? I don't think there's anything an amateur that could do that would help. それは。それは。施設の情報だけ刑事さんに教えてさ。いつも通りの楽しい生活に戻りなよ。Tell the detective where the facility is and go back to your happy, normal life. Sarika, you gotta think about that. How would he know that you have a happy, normal life? Attack and kill, attacked and killed your own family. But still, if I don't say anything, I'll just feel like I'm letting him win. That's why I decide to say what I'm thinking. My voice starts to fill with emotion to the point I practically start shouting in his face. Oh! <laughs> I just want to see if a girl who might be my friend! Is there something wrong with that? 
for a second. It's not like you would understand. <laughs> Miyashiro doesn't say anything back. He just listens to me silently. And then when I finish talking, he smiles a little. <laughs> Why is he smiling at me like that? Miyashiro. この<笑>ことに関しては決定権をお前にやろう。新庄さんもそれでいいか。Miyashiro, <笑> I'm make I'm letting you make the final call here. Are you okay with that, Shinjo-san? I guess I don't have a choice. ありがとうございます。Thank you. Gotta get your memories back! Or some of them at least are full of love again! Oh god! <laughs> I look at Kunasada on the detective in surprise. They're going to let a murderer of all people decide what to do with me. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Image. Is it like an anti sumo sticker? Just remember, the fact of the matter is that without Onoi's information, we're not going to make any more progress. If we can find that facility, we can complete the image. An anti sumo sticker. A really, really skinny guy sticker. Wakatemas. I know. Ano Kunosoto san, Shinjo san, Skoshi, Konokoto, Futarinish to Moraimasenka. Um, Kunosoto san, Shinjo san, can you leave me alone with her for a little while? Oh. <laughs> Suggestion shocks me even more. No, no way! Oh God! <laughs> Who knows what he'll do to? Skinny Shiro. Do what you want. Skoshi no aida dake da zo. Just for a little while, okay? Chotto matte kudasai. Iya desu. Wait a second. I don't want this. <laughs> I grab Kunasana-san's lab coat, but she just knocks my hand away. <laughs> and then the detective of all people is the first to leave the room. All he tells me is an irresponsible... Don't worry, you'll be fine. <gasps> and then he shuts the door, he even locks it too! I'm trapped in here! I'm too scared to turn around and face the bed. Who wouldn't be? Oh, I said some really awful stuff to him a moment ago after all. What will he I do if he attacks me? <laughs> I know, right? Th I did not expect to hear this BGM again. I glance over my shoulder. He, Miyashiro Takaru, is still there. Mind if I sit down? I get tired if I stand up for too long. <laughs> Do whatever you want! Miyashiro takes a deep breath and uh, sits down back on the bed. He rubs his knees like he's trying to feel for something. There's no strength in him and he looks even smaller after sitting down. He doesn't look like he's going to attack me. 
A little relief I finally turned to face. I'm not going to do anything to you. I just wanted to hear what the rest the rest of what you had to say. You said you wanted to save a girl who might be your friend. Right? So you're nani. That's right. So what? Sorega. Is that <sighs> Miyashiro suddenly stopped rubbing his knees. And then he looks directly at me. Sorega Ima Kimi no Yaritai Kodono. I love that her wish is to save Nono right now. She has her own wish. Is that really what you wish to do right now? <gasps> for some reason, when he asks me that question, I find that I can't even speak for a second. I feel something boiling up deep within my heart. <gasps> oh my god! And I answer him clearly. So this yo. So they go, what does she know? Yarita, I go to this kiddo. Oh, she was so that okay. That's right. That's what I want to do. Is that all? Ah, uh. yes, that's all. For some reason, Miyashiro smiles again. Hello, Alex. Welcome to the stream. I still don't understand what that smile means. <laughs> so <-ka. laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> then he bursts out laughing. I don't know how to respond. He curls his tiny body up into an even tinier ball as he doubles over laughing. He shakes as he tries to stop laughing but fails, and a hoarse voice leaks out of his throat. I don't find it funny at all. What's so funny? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's it's nothing. So <laughs> <laughs> So once you save this girl who might be your friend, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to ask her about myself, what it was like, why it was at Hekiyo Academy. That's right. I understand. I'm to I see. All right, that's a relief. In that case, please help us. Relieved? What's that supposed to mean? It really doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> yes, 
I won't get in the way of what you want to do. Well, as long as you stay out of certain places. Certain places? What is that? What do you mean? Never mind. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Miyashiro offers me his hand as he smiles. Does he want me to shake it? It's some kind of joke. I look away and he stops smiling and scratches his head. Oh, sorry. I wasn't thinking. He seems like a normal, awkward boy. It's hard to believe that he's a killer. Oh my god! Oh, Suruka! Is she falling in love with him all over again? Oh wait, what am I thinking? My mind flashes back to those pictures of the murders. The blood everywhere, the expressions of pain, the cruelty, cruelly tortured bodies. The anger I almost forgot nearly came back. <laughs> Just so we're clear. No matter what your reason was, killing someone is never right. Uh, <sighs> what you did is the worst thing a person can do. The person in front of me killed his own sister, and then said he'd kill himself in public, but in the end he didn't. He killed all of those people, yet he was too scared to die himself. He must truly value his own life. Oh! <laughs> Other people he killed had their own lives that they valued too. They all had their own lives, friends and families. All the things that I'm trying so hard to get for myself. Maybe I'll never get them no matter how hard I wish for it. And then he just stole them all away from those innocent people. <laughs> I hate people like you. I don't know what effect my words had on him. He just sits on the bed and silently looks up. <gasps> then suddenly he smiles at me again. No, no, you. <laughs> what? And what's more, there are even tears in his eyes. <laughs> Tears are so honest and true that I find myself overwhelmed. They fall to the bed without a sound. <laughs> How long did we stay like that? Oh my god, Takuru somehow getting infinite Riz. Uh, breaking through his own <laughs> Oh my god. I have to remind myself that the person in front of me is a serial killer. <laughs> if I don't, I feel like I'm gonna forget my anger completely. I can't believe myself. 
今さら泣いて後悔したって手遅れよ<笑> It's too late for crying and regrets now <laughs> Miyashiro keeps crying but he doesn't stop smiling His face looks like a parent watching a child Oh god, she's gonna take that the wrong way! <laughs> I don't have any regrets. I don't regret what I did. I'm satisfied. He doesn't regret it. Even after those all those horrible murders he committed. Oh god, she has to learn the truth. She has to! At least that he didn't do the murders. I can tell that he's serious too. It's like he's crying tears of joy. <laughs> you scum! Hello, Hollow Mirage, welcome to the stream. I don't want to talk to him for even a second longer. I head to the door and call for Kunasada-san and the detective. They come inside and look toward me as she without bothering to see if I'm okay. What did you decide? Miyashiro wipes away the tears as he speaks. I've decided to have her help us. You're sure? Hi. Yes. The two of them are looking at him as if they're looking at something utterly heartbreaking. It is utterly heartbreaking! <laughs> but he just keeps laughing and crying. She's a little different than what I thought a normal girl would be. But if she wants to help Nono, then let's accept her offer. Nono? Nono? If I remember correctly, Nono was the first name of Karusa san, the woman in the hospital room. Does that mean the two of them are friends? Miyashira. <laughs> Miyashira? I just want to ask this once to be sure. <laughs> Kunisata san's voice is low. She was probably worried I'll overhear. What? Did he lose his powers? Oh shit! Are we gonna have to do this with just Serika's power? You aren't who you used to be. You can't use your power. You know that, right? Hi. Andom, tamishimashita. Mo boku ni wa disodo mo miemasen. Oh no! Yes, I've tried it many times. I can't even see my D sword anymore. Power? D sword? Who are they talking about? <laughs> If things go south, you won't be able to rely on your power. You're willing to go through with this anyway. I do, Cerulean, yeah. Hi. Nono Tachino Tamedeskara. Yes. 
For Nono and the other six. というか、クノサトさんらしくないですね。議員会の情報さえ手に入れば、それで満足じゃないんですか。And really, this isn't like you. Aren't you happy just to get information on the committee? Nishiro chuckles. And Kunosato-san frowns and looks away. He gave everything for her! <laughs> Without even seeking a single thing for himself. <laughs> Shut up. I've never seen someone throw away their power and come back. I'm not sure how to respond to you. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to rely on Serica's abilities. Oh god. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? She asks. Miyashiro nods. Really? What the fuck are you gonna do? I'm fine. I don't need that power anymore. <laughs> She's still looking away from him. But we don't have anybody left! It has to be Serika if Taku lost his powers. We don't have anyone left! <laughs> All right. She whispers. Detective Shinjo-san's mouth goes wide open in shock when he sees that. What? Is there something on my face? Yeah, I'd never seen you all so obviously troubled like, troubled like that. Huh. <laughs> It would be nice if we were like that more often. Ah,それいいアイディアですね。Kunosato-san ならできるんじゃないですか? Oh, that's a great idea. Think you'd be up to it, Kunosato-san. Omaera,いい加減に… Would you two stop? あの、私もその方がいいと思います。看護師さんに気難しい人って言われてますよ。Huh, I think it's a good idea to you. The nurse said you were difficult. Excuse me? Uh, oh. Huh? oh, shit. I didn't mean to say that out loud. Like, they can't defeat Wakui without someone else. Unless, like, freaking Takumi is gonna come back. Like, seriously. And didn't Takumi lose his power, too? So who the fuck is, like, is someone from Chaos Head gonna come back and help out? Like, we gotta have somebody, so it's probably gonna be Serika. Or Taku will regain him somehow. <laughs> Kunisato is gl glaring at me fiercely. After that, she explains to me the rest of the plan, even though she's still ticked off the whole time. Finding out about a Caruso-san and the others, well, all the Chaos Child Syndrome patients actually, involve far more danger than I imagined. But I want my memories and my past back, no matter what! And that's enough to keep me from getting scared and backing out. Are they gonna use the artificial machine? I 
listen to Kunasada's on talk until late in the evening, and just barely managed to catch the last train home. The second I fall into bed, I feel exhaustion coming on that I can't fight. And I fall asleep without even changing clothes. So much happened today. I'm sure that I'll never forget it. What about the old me, though? Has she ever had many amazing experiences like this? Oh! Or was her life just completely ordinary and peaceful? There's a white light in front of me. It's so bright and so hot it feels like it might burn me. The light is shining on me bright as could be. It's the same light from before. That's probably the headlights of the car that hit me back then. This is part of my memories from the accident. It's too bright for me to see the car. All I can see is the light shining on me. <laughs> it feels like back when it happened I yelled something really important. And I was crying as I did it. But I can't remember what it was. It's so frustrating to have fragments of memories but not the whole thing. Headlights in my dream grow brighter and brighter. And eventually everything turns completely white. That's when I wake up. I put my hand to my cheek. It's wet. I must have been crying. I rub my red eyes as hard as I can and stand up. Maybe I could finally say goodbye to those dreams today. I look at the clock only to realize it's been three hours since I went to sleep. I hate it when that happens. I stayed awake until dawn thinking and doing research. And maybe this is just who I am. And I never knew. Before I went to sleep, I put together everything I'd researched and started thinking from there. As I thought about it all, I found what questions I still had and researched those things specifically. <laughs> For some strange reason, when I was working, I didn't feel sleepy at all. Maybe I should get a job at Momose-san's company someday. <laughs> oh. Uh, maybe the old me was a fan of Detective League stuff? Nobody's ever told me anything like that, though. <sighs> Today is Sunday. A normal girl might be getting ready to go shopping with her friends. But I'm different. Just like kunasada san told me two days ago, now I... You... <laughs> Alright, let's go. It's a little early, but I quickly get ready and leave. <laughs> Case child syndrome is a treatable illness. It is not dangerous and is not communicable. Harassment of patients is a violation of their human rights and is forbidden by law. And I strive for an equal society free from discrimination. <laughs> I look up at the board. It's still displaying the message from yesterday. Stand a little way from the station entrance and watch the people go by. I then quickly find the group I'm looking for. How are they going shopping? There's a group of Chaos Child Syndrome patients walking through the crowd. They're all old women, no, young girls. They're crossing the street all while laughing, talking, and wearing the same exact clothes that younger people wear. I have no idea what their real ages are. But from the way they talk, that they might possibly be middle school girls. The 
which means they might be part of Hakio Academy's middle school. People around them are ignoring them, probably because they've seen them a, mil a million times before. But a couple of foreigners are staring at them in shock. They're even pulling their phones out and taking pictures. But the girls show no signs of noticing and simply continue their conversation. <laughs> He was right. I remember what Miyashiro told me the other day. We really don't notice. It's like it doesn't even exist for us. He told me about the strange symptoms of Chaos Child Syndrome. From my perspective, all the students at Hakiho look like normal middle school and high school kids. I didn't just see them. Sometimes I would touch them and their skin didn't feel like an old person's at all. But you knew what people were saying about you, right? Not at all. We thought the Chaos Child Syndrome was a type of PTSD caused by the earthquake. PTSD? PTSD? What does that mean again? I feel like I've heard it before. Post traumatic stress disorder. Basically, their memories from the earthquake would cause flashbacks, which would then lead to depression or nausea. That's how Miyashiro and the others were made to understand their symptoms. But the reality was completely different. Even though we'd seen and heard countless images, video, and audio clips about the syndrome, we couldn't have been more wrong. And I only just learned this recently that all the victims were Chaos Child Syndrome patients too. Really? I thought it was just, uh, I thought it was just like high school, uh, I thought it was just like high school, uh, and like kids during the earthquake. I didn't know it was like all ages because a lot of them were older. <laughs> the next 
Then, oh, sorry, back to Serica. The next thing I knew, the girls with the CCS had vanished to the other side of the street. How did this... How? Just... How does this happen? Like, is it like the... Are they trying to, like, scoop up all the remains of Noah too? Like, did, did, did it disperse to everybody? Like, I... And, like, it, and is this, like... Why are we trying to, like... Suck it all back into Noah too, like all the giggle and maniac power. <sighs> they walk around and live normal lives just like everyone else does. Yeah, the wrinkly rim wimp thing, you're right, Bleed. Yeah, oh my god. I just totally ignored that. I just thought they were making fun of him for being like a like looking like a nerd. Oh my god, that's crazy. I wish there had been a little bit more about it though, but like I, again, uh, that's not really what I'm here for. I'm here for the characters. And like, you know, the and like, you know, the crazy powers are really cool too. That mostly for the characters. They can talk to people and they can look on TV and the internet. But anything about their real appearance? Anything that would tell them that they actually have the bodies of very old people? They won't see or hear. It's kind of like they're living in their own wonderful dream. That's how it feels to me. The day after I've heard what Miyashiro have to say. I borrowed Aoi's phone again and did my own research on Chaos Child Syndrome. The waitress? What, what does the waitress have to do? When I looked at what I saw online in light of what he told me, I realized how, how many people really had no idea what they were talking about. It was like... They just accepted the superficial things they were, they were told, and didn't even try to find the truth. They were shutting their eyes and con covering their ears, blocking out all the stuff they didn't want to see or hear. I also learned that people like that were called wrong-siders. Oh boy! They were on the wrong side of the information divide. <laughs> And then there is Karusu Nono-san. I also learned something important about Karusu Nono-san, the girl who might have been my friend. Something that could very well be a huge clue towards learning about my past. <sighs> hey, guess it's almost time. I look at the clock and see that it's nearly time. I head into the crowd in the direction little girls had gone, and start walking to my destination. Oh god, I have a feeling we're, we are gonna get into it soon. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have a feeling we are getting into it soon. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know if like there's gonna be like a freaking moment where everything's gonna go balls to the wall uh, and like I won't be able to stop oh shit uh, I can see the inside of the academy from a distance there's no one there not even the guard from the other day none of the people who thought there were students at the school are there Ooh, is the final battle inside the school? Detective Shinjo-san and Kurosawa-san's plan is working so far. <laughs> I call up an image in my mind. I still don't possibly see how fucking uh, Chaos Child Love Choo Choo could possibly be canon. It just, it feels like some AU goofiness.
Like, unless there's, like, fucking, like, the happiest ending possible to this, which I am crossing my fingers. I can't have an image in my mind. What if the man I saw on Kunisato-san's computer? His name was... Hello. Wakui Shuichi. Yabari Soda. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes in the fragments of my memories, I would see him in a special place. Where? Was it in a secret area of the school? It wasn't a classroom or the club room. It was a mysterious place surrounded by machinery. It feels like we're going into the final battle. He was standing there and telling me something. Before the accident, I had been meeting with him in private in a secret place in the school. De, doko da? So, where is it? <gasps> I whirl around to see Kunisato's son standing behind me. Oh, when did she get here? She could have at least said hello first. Where in the school is it? Where is the detective? And uh, where is he? They just went inside from the rear gate. I pulled some strings and now the school's empty. Once we're inside, we'll be fine. Where'd you get going to? Sato-san starts walking. She stands up tall like always and walks right into the school. I follow behind her, bent over and trying to be sneaky. When I told them two days ago about the vision I'd had, I told them about the place where I'd been meeting Wakui. All three of them went pale. It had been in that room. It had been a place in Hikyo Academy that wasn't a classroom or a club room. A place where the sun never shone. Is it the freaking basement? It filled with, it's been filled with machines I didn't recognize. The man named Wakui had been standing there telling me something. When I told him that, Kunosato san put her hand to her forehead and yanked on her hair in frustration. Oh boy, yep, uh, she finally found out who Wakui was. I bet. And he's from the committee. She'd already thoroughly searched Hekio Academy. I guess I didn't search it thoroughly enough. She said, frustrated. Of course we had to go search the school again. The question was what to do with Miyashiro. Didn't think he needed to come with us, but evidently he had to go with it wherever the device that I was seeing was that I, I was seeing my vision. Kunisato san and Shinjo san told me they'd been searching for that device this whole time. So, where is it? Kunisato san asked me that again as she walks ahead of me. I follow behind her and try to summon the vision in my head. But I'm still not sure. I 
I'm not sure. Let's just walk through the school. When I find it, I'll see you soon. I'm not sure. Let's just walk through the school. When I find it, I'll see you soon. I'm not sure. Let's just walk through the school. When I find it, I'll see you soon. I'm not sure. Let's just walk through the school. When I find it, I'll see you soon. I'm not sure. Let's just walk through the school. When I find it, I'll see you soon. I'm not sure. They walk inside the school building. When we get inside, we see the two of them standing in a corner. He really is here. Miyashiro Takuru. He's not wearing handcuffs or any kind of restraints. Oh, no, sorry. Keiji-san? Huh. Excuse me, detective? Hmm? Yeah. Konai da mo omottan desu kedo. Futari da mo kono hito o shinyou shi sugi nan janai desu ka? I thought this used to be true, but uh... Don't you two trust him a little too much? Renzoku sasujin jiken no hannin nan desu yo. Mo chotto shikkari to yu ka. You know he's a serial killer, right? She'd be a little more careful. I suddenly feel like an idiot for saying that. I'm just a teenage girl. Why would a detective take advice from me? Oh. Miyashiro-kun nara daijoubu da. Shinpai shi nakute ii. I could see why you'd think that, but uh... Trust me, there's no need to worry about Miyashiro-kun. He won't do anything. So na koto yori... Sassa to sagase. Forget it. Shut up and start looking. Forget it? Isn't staying safe really important? Are we heading to like an ultimate final battle? I really don't understand what's going on. Alright, let's go. I looked down the hallway from the entrance. Uh, I remember the vision again. It was... It was a very dark spot. It's somewhere in the building that doesn't get any light. Maybe it's underground? I start walking, relying on only my hazy memories. Start by checking all the hallways. Something might ring a bell. <laughs> the others follow after me, staring intently at their surroundings. I keep paying close attention, too, to see if I remember anything. Oh, so da. Oh, all right. I turn back to face Kimisato san as I walk. あの、クルスノノさんについて聞きたいことがあるんですけど。うん。There's Kurosu-san was injured, right? In the chest? Hmm? Oh, Tashkani. Uh, yeah, that's right. The detective answers me instead of Kunasato-san. I glance at Miyashiro before I speak again. I saw you read online that it happened because she got caught up in the murders. Is that true? <sighs> oh. Wow, even her. Oh my god. Even Mio. For some reason, all three of them fall silent. Oh. Huh? 
and Yoshida were the one responsible for the so-called return of the new generation madness. In the end, he didn't kill himself like he said he would. Apparently chickened out and surrendered instead. There were a lot of different rumors circling about, about why he said he was going to publicly kill himself. The most popular one was that it was because he failed to recreate the new generation madness. The original new generation madness six years ago was composed of seven murders. But this time there were only six. There was supposed to be another on November 4th, but he failed. And it was Kurusu Nonosan who was supposed to be the target. She was Miyashiro's stepsister. It didn't make the news, but on November 4th, Kurusu san was attacked by someone and then fell into a coma. She was found in time to save her life, but she was still asleep. Something I saw for myself in the hospital room. And of course, the one who was thought to attack her was. <laughs> Miyashiro. Well, Miyashiro. I glare at him, but he doesn't respond. He just looks back at me and for some reason his eyes look incredibly sad. I just can't understand what this murderer is thinking. So I decide to start telling him what I researched. You were in the same orphanage, right? Did you try to kill another sister after you killed the first one? And you were in the newspaper club with her. Your names were both on a video that was uploaded. I'm not sure if I should ask, but I really want to know. After all, I should have realized yesterday that she is also part of the club. When Miyashiro called Kurusu-san Nono her first name. Kurusu-san and Miyashiro must have been close. Which means that since I'm Kurusu-san's friend, he has to have known the old me too. Sarika's too smart. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Do you know me? I don't know. No. Oh god, oh god. There's no hesitation in his voice. It's clearer and louder than I've ever heard him before. That's impossible. I have a photo of me and Kurusu-san together. I don't know. I was very close Oh, you're calling her by her first name. Which... I don't know you. No, no, and I didn't get along. I don't know who she was friends with. Um, she's trying to break his cyclops here. Oh boy, but she has black cyclops. Oh, shit. That photo was taken in the newspaper club room. You were the club president. There's no way you wouldn't know. I don't know you. You can talk about that later. Now move your ass. Kunisato son suddenly pushes me hard from behind. It's like she's trying to cut me off for Miyashiro's sake. Oh my god. <laughs> it would take a miracle to have a happy ending of this. Both Miyashiro and the detective start walking past her too. It's almost like they decide in advance to decide they would respond to that question. What's going on? This doesn't make any sense. I really just feel like Mimosa san and Kurosato san are hiding something about my past. Oh god, Waku, he's probably gonna spill it. Oh shit. I 
And then there's the way Detective Shinjo-san acted when he first saw me. And more than anything, there's the way Miyashiro cried when he first saw me. <laughs> I hear myself grinding my teeth. I ball my hands into fists. This is so unbelievably frustrating. I have all these huge hints, all of which seem really, really important. And I know that everyone is trying to hide something from me. But I just can't remember what that something is. Not that way. Huh? Miyashiro suddenly speaks up in a sharp tone. We all stop. I assume once they find the room, uh, that, that'll be a good stopping point. The sign tells us that the annex is up ahead. This is where I found the newspaper club room before. Nani? What is it? We'll go there last. Once we've checked everywhere else. What's your problem? It doesn't matter where we start, does it? And if we go to the newspaper club room, I might find some hint. You're here to help Nono, right? God, how much he must be controlling himself. There were no suspicious rooms around the newspaper club. I'm sure of that. Oh, God. Miyashiro turns around without waiting for my answer. Hey, wait a... Oh, shit, what kind of room is that? Wait! I suddenly see a clear vision of my mind and yell. That was... Dosta. What is it? My legs start moving on their own. The memories became clear along with the vision. The view of the courtyard from the window. The trees and the plants. The scene in the window connects with my memories. That's right. Whenever I talk with Wakui in that strange room. Always went through this hallway, I think. And after going through this hallway, what did I do? Hey, did you remember? Be quiet, please. I can't concentrate. Is it in this weird building on the other end of the, the football field? Oh my god. Or a soccer field, I should say. Or what, what kind of... No, that's too small. What kind of sport field is that, anyway? Oh no, it's a track. What's in the middle? I start to walk, following the hazy trail in my memories. And then I end up on the outside of the annex. <laughs> this is the first floor of the annex. <laughs> I'm standing in front of the building's wall. Why do I feel like I have to do something to the wall? I'm not sure why, but I, I do what the memories tell me to, and put my hand on the wall. No. What? Huh. Secret door. I hear Miyashiro and the detective gasp. Huh? I can't believe what I'm seeing either. My hand goes through the- What the hell?! Now is a good stopping point? Oh boy. Oh my god, you guys. Next time, I gotta say, it would be a miracle if there's any kind of happy ending here. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am in despair central. Oh god. Oh god. It would take an absolute miracle. 
They're about to go into the lion's den, and as far as we know, nobody has any powers? If I go any further, I can share a plan to the end. Next time. Grand finale of Chaos Child. I am scared shitless. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, you guys. Oh god, this is just so heart-wrenching. Oh my god. You guys. Oh my god, I am just so nervous. Next time. The end of Chaos Child. Until then. I will say. So long. Farewell. Have we to say goodnight. You're all the sweetest of hearts. See ya! <laughs>